Another way to make all of your information fit onto one page is to change the page margins. So let me show you how to do that here on Google Docs. This could be useful in lots of different situations. So to change the page margins to narrow margins, go into File, Page Setup, and then our margins in inches. So we want half an inch, so 0 0.5. And then we can put, I'm just going to copy it and paste it here, 0 0.5 for all of our margins. So I click OK. And now my uh, margins are adjusted. Important, always leave your default margins the way that they are. This is because any sort of template that you might want to upload will automatically have standard margins. And in order to be able to upload that template, the margins for the template and the margins in your blank document need to be the same. So if you need to change any margins, the only way to change them is after the document has been uploaded. Okay, one more thing to do if you decide to change the margins. You probably noticed that everything automatically moved further to the, to the left, but it did not move automatically further to the right. There is a way to fix this. It's a bit annoying, but um, if you're determined, it can be done. So what you want to do first is just uh, bring your cursor up, up to this line here until you get the, the change in arrow. And you want it specifically to be kind of underneath this address phone emails par email part here. So you go down to until the, the double arrows appear. Left click. Then you can see that part of the line is blue now. Okay. And then with our cursor still in that same place, we're going to right click. And we're going to insert column right. Okay. So that makes our line longer. Then you might say, okay, well now I need to move other things, and you do. Now, let's only move what we need to move, otherwise it could get a little bit um, away from what we want it to look like here. So we just want to move address, phone, and email to the right. So let's bring our cursor to the beginning here. So left click, hold, move to the right. So let's see how the whole top part is, is highlighted now. We right click and merge cells. Okay. So you can see now that our address phone email goes all the way over to the right. Okay. Now, now we also want to um, merge this text here to briefly describe your, your job here, but we don't want to merge the objective. Okay. We, we want to keep all of our headings, all of our main headings on the left. We don't want them to be merged at all because that will create something that we don't want. So let's start here by the text here by briefly left click, left click, hold down, move to the right. See how we have sort of this part selected and then this part selected. Right click, merge cells. So if you were to keep writing further, it would go all the way to the edge here if you needed to write further. Okay, so let's do the same thing with our skills one, two, and three. So I just select it, and there I go. Remember, do not select these headings, right? Everything but the headings for these first two here. Right click, merge cells. Now you'll make more room for the city and the province, just the city and the province. So I select that and merge cells. Okay, now we can do this whole thing. Select that and merge cells and then repeat for the rest of the items under the experience section. Then under education, just the city and province, and then all of this, right click, merge cells. And our interests, select them all, all the way to the right, right click, merge cells. And I think this last part here will be uh, will be fine. There should be lots of space for that. All right, and we're now all done. It's all set to be filled in.